I had someone recently ask me on one of my videos commenting how I like technically sleeping outside. At this point, I don't have any coverage from the rain, but thankfully it hasn't been raining and I don't see any sign of it and if it did rain I'd probably have to quickly cover the tent. I think the best thing to do is just kind of keep my eye on the forecast to make sure it doesn't rain. But other than rain being of concern, I could say it's pretty peaceful. It's kind of sort of always like this, calm and quiet. You can hear the birds outside. Their sin. She loves it out there. That's like her spot. She doesn't even like to be in here most of the time. She just she'll come in here real quick and then I'll go to shut the the tent, I'll go to close the tent and she'll just like want to jet out as soon as she can you know, before I even close it. There's like a plethora of hummingbirds out here. Like I seen one just hovering like right here, right outside the tent, just looking at me. Obviously I don't have the, the cover for the tent on here, so it's just a screen. And I obviously don't have all of my things here. Just my charger. Um, it's in this little place so she can sleep. And I don't have my things in here because of that recent raid. But you know, it's nice living minimally anyway. I think that's kind of one of the points of living this way, you know be free I'm not so held down by things yeah no police came in told me to leave you know so I had to pack everything up that same night and I set it back up but I set it lightly so that way I could just easily tear it down if I need to again if they come back you know it's not such a hassle to like scatter my things out again you know as soon as I start to feel comfortable again I'll bring in some more things and I'll kind of I'll kind of keep it you know I think I'm going to keep the blankets in this time cuz you know it's kind of a pain to go and get the blankets out and make the bed you know what I mean like over and over again so you know you can start to see the sun coming in So I did wake up just about like, I don't want to say maybe two hours ago. And, um, you know, wanted to make the video look nice. So I kind of made the bed a little bit and, you know, put on a shirt, which, <laughs> you know, living outside is nice. It's, it's fresh. 
at this point anyway. I mean, I know summer's coming, so it's probably going to change. But every morning at this at this spot, it, there's like cloud coverage until like 11, you know. And there's just clouds that kind of cover the sky. And that gives me plenty of time to sleep, you know. Wake up around like 8, you know what I mean. And sometimes a little later, you know, if I sleep in late. You can see the stars at night, or at least the moon. I mean, there's kind of like light pollution in this area, so I don't really get the stars like I did in the desert, you know. But it's still nice. And like I said, once I feel comfortable again, maybe a few days, I'll feel like, yeah, nobody's gonna come search me again, you know what I mean? I'll be able to move in my things, some of my things back in here, you know, the candles and um, incense and, you know, just keep it minimal. Feng Shui, this tent, which will end up being a future video. I want to make a future video about uh, Feng shui my tent, you know. It's already kind of Feng shui right now in some way. I'm just kind of keep it nice and neat, minimal. I mean, I can't really say completely intended Feng Shui. For example, this corner of the tent, depending on the front entrance of the tent, of the area, room, whatever, this corner would be considered the prosperity corner. This corner is the relationship corner. And uh, that is helpful people in trouble, which the backpack being right there is like perfect. And then career, right here in the front, career, life path. and. Um, that area is skills and knowledge. There's nine squares, nine sections of a given space or room, you know, um, so, yeah. Organizing your things in those sections is like, it's some form of magic, you know, and harmony, and when it's cleaned and organized, in some cases symmetrical, it brings about an energy flow, you know. Feng Shui means wind water. Wind water. So how is the flow of this wind water in your home or room flowing, you know? How is that? So that makes tent living, that makes home living, that makes any sort of living that much more peaceful, you know. So you can live anywhere so long as you make it. So long as you make it so. Wherever it is that you go. Outdoor living, indoor living, car living, whatever. It's all the same. So long as you have the home inside. So long as you have this, <laughs> you know? But it's beautiful. You hear the birds, you know what I mean? They're just flying around my tent. And you know? It's quiet. It's a lot more peaceful, I'll tell you, than living out of your car being parked on somewhat of a busy road with like apartments across the street with people kind of walking around, walking their dogs, you know, like sin confined inside, you know, or always on a leash, you know what I mean? Like she's free. Free to be where she at? She's hiding. Of course it's peaceful. So that's it. Ten living. I'll give you a little tour around my tent. Obviously the front door. I got some things out there. And uh, tent, the tent, just the tent casing, water, 
This is like minimal right now. I have all my things hidden among the bushes outside. But this is pretty much what it is right now. Just because of that recent raid, you know? So. Um, how is it like technically living outside? Pretty nice. I'll see you later.